I think the, the greatest shift I saw is the impact of the societal, not societal, social, the social element of work. Because some of our clients had very small circles of friends. Yeah. Most of the time they spent time with their families for many reasons. And the impact from a social point of view that going into employment had on, on many people was, was, was a big one. And this is I wanted to touch a little bit upon, and we discussed even when we met, fair and think. This is a little bit outside of my, my area of expertise, but you're an expert in as well. At least well, you can share your experience. Expert, <laughs> but in my very little... But you had two opportunities to, yes, yeah. to get this right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, to get it right, you had two opportunities. Let's, <laughs> let's leave it at that. You will only know whether you got it right when they are much older. So it's a constant. What have you, what have, what has parenting, becoming a parent, taught you so far? It is a complete learning experience. Initially, traditionally, you are the adult yeah. and you are teaching your children. But the amount of learning that goes on when you are an adult is remarkable. And one of the things which, it, which I learned is to be open to learn from your children or through your children. How is that different? Because sometimes they actually volunteer to teach you stuff. Okay. So learning from them. Learning through them is when I observe the dynamic which is created, what happens if I react in this way, what happens if I react in a different way. Will I antagonize, lose an opportunity to engage in a discussion and lose the moment? Or will I next time approach the situation differently? Maybe not at that moment, maybe not at the time when there is an argument going on. Okay, sometimes I get told, mm, see, you don't have anything to say now. So I just say, you wouldn't want to hear what I have to say, so I'm not going to say anything for the time being. Especially if it's a Friday evening, then I do the washing in the morning, and it is one of my main topics for reflection. And I consider whether I should bring it up again, whether my approach would be different, whether... So these are, these are experiences which I have learned a lot. I have two boys, very close, two years, nine months apart. Okay completely different personalities. The learning experience I had with one wasn't very relevant with the other, so I had to it relearn. It tends to happen, right? So yes, at least from, yes. from what I've heard yes. so far, it yes. tends to happen. Yes. Obviously, it, it, it is a very fertile ground for people who come from the helping professions, from the psychology sector to, should I say, practice. But the, the engagement is very different. You cannot be a professional as a parent mm -hmm. because your emotional engagement is so strong. Your fears are much stronger than they can be for any client. Like I am a social worker by profession and I've worked with a number of clients, both formally and informally. And I've supported parents. But when your child is involved, you don't function as a professional. You function first and foremost as a parent who is worried for their child. And then one of the great lessons is how can you mold that parent, which you are, to draw upon your professional experience mm -hmm. to bring the two together, to try and reach out to your children, but at the same time manage the fears of a parent. So you try and find an in-between way.